The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a pixel. We are going to show you how to do it two times. The first time we're going to show you how to do it on an investor carrot website. And the second time we're going to show you how to do it step by step on a WordPress website. Now, before we start, make sure you disable your ad blocker. Okay. It, it, none of it's going to work right if you don't, if you don't block it. So, so make sure you, you, you turn it off and only if you turn it, if you turn it off, then continue. Okay. Um, so what is a pixel? A pixel is a piece of code that you put on your website that collects data to help Facebook track ad conversions. It helps select audiences. It tracks all the events. For example, with, if, when anybody takes some kind of action on your website, they click a button or whatever, Facebook collects that audience so that they can retarget them with new ads for future ads. Okay, so it's very important that the pixel is set up correctly because that is going to really, really optimize your Facebook ads. Okay, so go to Google or your internet browser and then type in business that facebook.com make sure you're in the right profile I want to put a pixel for this one then go to your uh, menu then click on business settings Then we're going to go to data sources, the drop down menu on the left hand side, and then click on pixels. Now, if you already have pixels, you will see them here. If not, just click on the blue add button. Uh, um, put in the name of your pixel, this is fine for me. Then click on continue. and click on the second option, set up the pixel now. Again, click on the second option, manually add a pixel code to the website. So now, this is the pixel. All you have to do to copy the pixel is just click on it. Then go to carrot or yeah, for this one, we're just going to do the carrot first. Log into your carrot. Find your website, go to settings on the left hand side, click on analytics and scripts, scroll all the way down and once you reach the end of the code, hit a few enter to separate the code and click paste. That is your pixel. Note that I am putting it into the head script as here, put in the head script and then just click on save. Successfully saved and now go back. Turn on automatic advanced matching. This here collects data, also data, the city, the state, the date of birth, external ID, email, gender, country. Uh, the more data you collect, the more optimized Facebook can make your ads. So definitely select them all and then hit continue. Now click here, use Facebook event setup tool. Put in your website. Now the trick here is to just put your um, cursor at the end of the domain name and then hit the enter key. The Facebook events setup tool should appear on your website. So here is how it works. We have to let Facebook know what an event is, what an action is, right? So we are going to, let me give you an example. When somebody clicks on your form and they enter the information, click on the form, they reach the second page of the form like so. So what, what this means is that anybody that lands on this page 
obviously filled in the form. So you can tell Facebook, okay, anybody that has landed on this page, they took some sort of action, they filled in the form, so I want Facebook to track that action. So how does Facebook know that somebody filled in the form? Well, they landed on this page. You cannot land on this page unless you fill in the form. So anybody that lands on this exact page must have filled in the form. So that is how you're gonna let Facebook know what event happened, what action has been taken, okay? So go back. So we're going to track a URL. Here we are going to go to URL equals and we're gonna change to contains. So scroll all the way down and then select view content. Ignore all of this here and click confirm. So what have we done? We have now let Facebook knows anybody that clicked on any version of this URL, they have visited our website. Okay, so if they click on uh, Weber House and Connecticut, the, the, the main domain, Facebook knows that this guy visits the website. If somebody lands on the How It Works page, the How It Works page link still contains Weber Houses in Connecticut. So, they have still visited the website. That is how we let Facebook know that if anybody clicks on any link that contains this portion of the URL, it means they have visited our website, no matter which part, but they have visited our website. Okay, here's what's next. Let's go to the thank you page. See, now this box states. I have no idea why sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but okay, so now we're there. So if this box appeared to you without having to do it, go back and do the whole thing again, then just continue. If this box doesn't show up, do the exact same thing over again. So go back here, put in the right URL and hit uh, open the website and then you will see this page right here. Okay, again, it's a glitch, hopefully, the box will just remain, will just stay there and you can just um, manage your event uh, setup. But if the box disappears, just do it over again, it's fine. So we're going to track a URL. We're going to leave the URL equals because we want to let Facebook know that anybody that clicks, that landed on this exact page is the event. So it's not the, con the, the URL contains, it's, it's this exact URL. Okay, so we're going to um, go to select events and now we're going to select submit application. The reason why I hit submit application is because this is the final step. So this is the complete issue that has been submitted. Okay, so that's why we pick this one and then we hit confirm and there we have the second event. So now we have two events, right? The first one was um, as long as the URL contains your domain name, Rebaus of Connecticut, then it should trigger an event. So that we should let, let Facebook know that event has been triggered, somebody visits the, the, the content. So any page on your website that contains that URL will trigger that event. So that's why we have two events here. The first one is anybody that lands on your page, any page, including this one, will get triggered. And then a second event happens when somebody lands on this specific page, the thank you page. And this means that they completed the final registration. They said, so they submitted the application, okay? Now we let Facebook know this. So Facebook then knows anybody, any audience that is very similar to this specific person could be a very good potential candidate to put, to show your ad to, okay? So now we give Facebook a lot of ammunition to really optimize your ads. That's why we're doing this. Okay, so let's do one more. Let's go to the contact us. Again, if this box doesn't appear, just go back here, hit disconnect, type in the URL, hit open website, and then this box should appear. 
and then this box should appear. And this box should appear. Freaking Facebook, dude. All right. So now we're going to track a link again, a URL. We are going to do URL equals this exact page right here. Let's fill in the form quickly, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but that is the URL that appears when somebody fills in the form. So go back here, disconnect, at this URL, open website. So we're going to track this exact URL. So pretty much anybody that landed on that, e that link means they filled in another form, right? So we're going to do that, do that. We're gonna do a complete register contact, we're gonna do, and we hit confirm. So now, again, we have two. The first event is anybody that lands on any portion of my website that contains the main domain name, obviously they're gonna get an event tag. And now when anybody, when anybody also contacts us, we get another, another uh, event. So we're going to finish that up and we're going to hit finish. We're going to say skip and there you have it. So let's see what we have done. Okay. Refresh this URL. And let's see what we got. So here are all our events. So let's go to complete registration. Click on it. Go to manage events. And then you can see what the setup is, right? So you can see what triggers that event. All you have to do is just hover over it and you can see what the URL is, who created it, when it was created. You see, you see all that stuff. Very useful. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to prioritize the events. Okay. The way you do it, you need to first verify your website. Okay. So let's do that right now. So go to overview if you're not already there and then you will see here um, pixel conversion API and you see aggregated event measurement. Okay. Click on that one. Click on configure web event. As you can see, my domain name is not verified yet. So I need to verify it only after you verify it. Can you prioritize your events? Click on verify domain, click on verify domain again, click on add a domain, create a new domain. Then paste your domain. Just make sure that you remove the www and all the stuff. Just put domain.com without the back, without the forward slash. Then you click the add button. So now we have three options. We can do it three different ways. The easiest one is to just copy this meta tag and place it on your card website. So I'm just going to do that one. So I'm going to copy this, go to the card website. If you need to log in, just log in. I'll go to my website and try to verify, go to settings from settings, go to analytics and scripts and go to the header, go to the last line of your header, hit enter three, four, five times, 
hit control V, pasting that line in there and click on the save button and you should be set. Now go back to the Facebook business settings and then click verify domain. Okay. So click on this link. It opened up, go back, verify domain name and it's verified. Okay. So be sure to click on that link. Hit done. So let's go back to the events manager. Just close this up and we're just going to refresh the page. Well, look at that. Okay. <clears throat> So here's how we're going to ve how we're going to prioritize our events. Okay, you click on this uh, on this uh, uh, your domain name here. Now you're going to click on Manage Events. You're going to click on Edit. Now you're going to click on Add Events. You're going to click on your pixel. If you have several pixels here, make sure you, you select the right one. I'll click this one. I only have one. We're going to choose an event. So the most important event is to submit applications. That's when somebody went through the entire funnel and they submitted the full applications. That's the most important one. So click on this one and click on apply. Yes, I confirm these changes and click on apply. Hit OK. And there's your first one out of eight. Now click on add event. Select your pixel again. And this one will be a complete registration. Great. Now add another event, same pixel. And this time, this one is going to be a contact, add another event, and view content. So as you can see, you can go on and on and on. You have up to eight though. So if you have, uh, like me, a contact or any other events that you've added, you can add them all here up to eight, but be sure you arrange them from highest priority to lowest priority. So the highest priority is obviously get your, the complete, the complete uh, application. This one is the first form. This one is the contact at me. And the last lowest priority is the visit my website. Okay. Now you hit apply. Hit yes, I confirm these changes. Click on apply again. And click on OK. Now we have four out of eight. And there you have it. Now you have your pixel set up, you have your event set up. And now that you understand the basic concept of this, you can really go in and tweak and add more events to maximize your Facebook ads campaign.